Uh -huh. <laughs> I've had big days in my life, like most people. The difference for me is I keep going back. It's such a horrific accident. This is one of these moments where lots of Henrys congregate from all along his time stream to watch it yet again. As it would for anyone, it would resonate throughout your life. But in his case, resonation means time travel. One of the most formative things that can happen to a child is, is, is losing their parent at that age. Mom! Mom! I'm not someone like to sit in the audience and watch. I want to be involved in the story. We're right in the car with him. We feel that we're experiencing it as well. And that's something to me that's very, very important. This begins his route into trying to form an identity around time and most importantly gives him a skewed understanding of mortality. The car crash was one of, obviously, one of our bigger elements. There was a lot of planning, a lot of meetings. We put a good chunk of time into making sure we, we got it right. We shot part of it on set and we shot part of it on, on a stage. Basically make it as honest and real as we could. We started working on this scene a few months ago uh, in storyboard form. And from those storyboards, we took that and we created a, a digital previs so that we could see all of the shots in, in action and how the accident was gonna work. We actually filmed that in the height of summer. We had to pause for thunderstorms and lightning strikes. And so most of the snow you'll see will have been added in afterwards. Anytime you can do a snow-covered street, in Brooklyn in June or July. It brings a lot of uh, interest <laughs> to, the, to the set. People will be walking down the street in shorts and they'd look down the road and it suddenly looks like it's midwinter. Uh, so it was a little surreal. The best thing that happened was that everybody who walked their dogs, the dogs would go and pee in the snow. And so you would end up with this highly realistic yellow snow everywhere. We filmed that in a neighborhood called Park Slope. The sequence starts out on a residential block as she's driving, we transition to Yonkers, New York, which is just north of New York City. It was one thing to create Christmas on a small street, but now we were gonna have to do it on four lanes of traffic with a lot of turns. The car that we chose is a 1988 Volvo because at the time it was one of the most popular safe vehicles. Fairly large sedan, so if we want to put cameras in it, it's sort of easy to do that. My role is to make it safe. We're rear-ending Henry and Annette's car, so we're trying to do it practically. We have a driver in the Camaro, and then in the actual car, there's just dummies. To do 1988 without it looking like comedy 80s, it's a fine line to walk. You want it to look real, and so I think that we tried to imagine a more subdued take on it so that it did not distract from the scene. We sort of worked through safety and the logistics of it, but David had a very clear view what had to happen, and, and we just facilitated that for him. Action. Want to smile? It was a snowy day in Chicago. They're driving. And just before it hits Henry, he pops out of the car. Someone throws him a blanket. He turns around, it's the older Henry. You just traveled back in time as soon as you were hit. It was the only thing your body had time to do. We were totally blown away by Jason, who plays the young Theo James. It's a really heartfelt performance, and it was, I think it was quite difficult stuff emotionally for a young man to do. Once we filmed the exterior elements, we still had to do all of the connecting pieces on a car driving stage. Which is uh, an LED stage specifically purpose-built for shooting things that are involving vehicles. So we have a number of screens here that we can move around to different places. Now we're at a point where if you put it in the background, you can't tell that it's an LED because the pixels are so small that it looks like a nice clean image. And you get a nice bright image. You can light actors, you can light cars, you can light entire scenes to look like a snowy exterior, which is what we're doing here. The sheer graft and difficulty of plotting every beat how precise it is, a brilliant piece of work. That was really something that we uh, worked hard at, and preparation, 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 I always say. It was just an amazing experience.